In fact, on the internet, there is still a lot of discussion and controversy about the sixth generation aircraft that Changfei will unveil at the end of 2024. For example, what is its performance and its cost and production will be how? These are all questions that the majority of military fans are more concerned about. For the Changfei, sixth generation aircraft performance, in fact, basically certain, its combat effectiveness will have a cliff type lead on the current warplanes. Comparison of Changfei, sixth generation machine, and J 20 can be found in its volume than the J 20 fighter aircraft is much larger and the use of three engines and the back of the air intake mode. Sixth generation machine is bigger, is not surprising, because the development process of the warplane, the warplane volume is getting bigger, and bigger may be a trend. Early second generation twin engine fighters, such as the F 4, had a maximum takeoff weight of only 28 tons. After the fourth generation twin engine fighter F 15, the maximum takeoff weight reached 30 tons. To the F 22, this kind of fifth generation aircraft, the maximum takeoff weight has grown to 38 tons. This is because, with the continuous development of warplane technology, warplanes need to carry more and heavier avionics equipment. And with the development of military doctrine, countries for the combat radius of the warplane needs to continue to improve. Warplanes need to carry more and heavier avionics, they need a bigger body. The need for a larger combat radius requires a larger inbuilt fuel tank, which also raises the fuselage of the warplane. By the time we get to the sixth generation, the need for a larger fuselage is theoretically even greater. China's current fifth generation aircraft, the J-20, has reached a maximum range of more than 4,000 kilometers with a secondary fuel tank. The J-20's maximum range can reach 5,000 kilometers, which is already enough for it to travel between China and Guam. However, this range is still not enough for the J-20 to strike the U.S. island of Guam, and it can only fly directly from the Chinese mainland to Guam in a straight line. If for any reason the J-20 doesn't fly in a straight line during this period and makes a detour between mainland China and Guam, then the J-20 won't be able to touch Guam to enhance the Chinese Air Force's control over the U.S., Second Island Chain, and the South China Sea. China's next-generation fighters may need a maximum range of 6,000 kilometers or even more than 7,000 kilometers. As for more avionics, it is related to the positioning of the sixth-generation aircraft. The current positioning of the five-generation aircraft are still basically air combat fighters, at best, like the F-35 fighters both ground, anti-ship capabilities, but these five generations of aircraft body, air combat fighter, positioning is very clear. But when it comes to the sixth generation of aircraft, the sixth generation of aircraft may not be like the fifth generation of aircraft to go head to head with the enemy aircraft. One is that the sixth generation will have a stronger over the horizon strike capability than the fifth generation. The radar paired with the sixth generation fuselage will be stronger, and will be able to detect enemy aircraft at greater distances. In addition, the sixth generation aircraft will be equipped with air to air missiles with a greater range. For example, the current J 20 is equipped with Thunderbolt 15 air to air missiles with a maximum range of 200 kilometers. To the sixth generation aircraft body, may be equipped with a range of 300 kilometers above the Parak 17 type missiles. Although the fifth generation aircraft has a strong over the horizon strike capability, there is still the possibility of fighting with enemy aircraft. To the sixth generation of aircraft, basically also abandon the close combat. Air combat all rely on more powerful than the fifth generation of over the horizon strikes. This can be seen from the design of the back air intake of the Chengfei, sixth generation aircraft. A fighter with a dorsal air intake will lose manoeuvrability due to reduced air intake when performing manoeuvres such as the Cobra manoeuvre, which raises the altitude of the aircraft. If Changfiz, sixth generation aircraft, had pursued greater manoeuvrability, it would not have adopted the dorsal air intake design. By adopting this design, it can be seen that its preference is for over the horizon strike capability rather than close range combat capability. The second is that the sixth generation aircraft is not only in the front line against the enemy air combat fighter, but will also assume the function of the command center. For example, the former five-generation aircraft is a sword. It is mainly responsible for killing the enemy. Now the sixth generation of aircraft is like a person holding a sword, responsible for holding a variety of sharp sword to kill the enemy. With the development of military concepts, the air forces of various countries are now paying more 
and more attention to systematic combat. You fighter jets fight alone. The combat power is far inferior to the other side of the combination of fighter jets, plus early warning aircraft. The design concept of the sixth generation aircraft is so, in the air war is not only a fighter, but also a simple early warning aircraft and command system. A sixth generation aircraft plus a large number of fifth generation aircraft, fourth generation aircraft, as well as drones, can form a whole set of air combat system. Compared with the fifth generation aircraft, the sixth generation aircraft has greater range, longer air combat distance, stronger stealth ability, and stronger systematic combat capability. No matter whether it is the air combat capability or military system to crush the fifth generation aircraft. As for the cost of the sixth generation aircraft, it is almost a foregone conclusion that it is higher than the fifth generation aircraft. The main cost of a fighter jet comes from its avionics system. Disregarding the design cost of a fighter jet and only counting the production cost of a fighter jet, the cost of the avionics system is much higher than the fuselage of a fighter jet. The sixth generation aircraft uses a more advanced avionics system than the fifth generation aircraft, and its volume is larger. Its cost will naturally be higher than that of the fifth generation aircraft. But China's sixth generation aircraft shouldn't cost much more when compared to the fifth generation aircraft. Many people's understanding of the cost of the sixth generation aircraft comes from the United States of America's sixth generation aircraft. The current purchase price of a US F-35 fighter jet is around $100 million, but the purchase price of the US sixth generation aircraft, the GAD, is expected to be around $300 million. That's why many people think the price of a sixth generation aircraft could be three times that of a fifth generation aircraft, but the fact that the price of the GAD is so high has a lot to do with the US crotch pulling military industrial system. Because of deindustrialization, the US produces any weapon at a very high price. Like the destroyer thing, China builds a 055 big drive cost is about 6 billion yuan. The United States to build a Burke 3 is beyond 2 billion US dollars. The fact that the price of the US F-35 fighter jet can be depressed to $100 million is a special case in itself, because the huge purchase price has depressed its cost, but the cost of the US sixth generation aircraft, the GAD, has skyrocketed with not much in service. The Chinese side has a stronger military industrial system than the United States. There will not be the problem of soaring costs of the sixth generation aircraft, which is estimated to cost $100 million to $200 million per unit on the Chinese side. As for the number of Chinese 6th generation aircraft in service, it should not be too much. 6th generation aircraft have a command center role equivalent to the brain of the fleet. An organism has four arms and legs, but only one brain. Therefore, theoretically speaking, the number of command centers, such as the 6th generation aircraft, will be far lower than the number of combat aircraft in the fleet.